Lincoln, Nebraska. Dylan is up. Hi, Dylan. What's up? Hi. Um, I am so excited to talk to you. You too. What's up? How can we help? Uh, um, I am calling because I'm currently in baby step two with my husband. And uh, we originally started at 25000 and we're down to about 16000 Good. And um, my parents are going through a really bad divorce. And uh, my 16-year-old little brother would like to move in with me and my husband. Um, we we're kind of at odds about it because I want to let him move in. Um, but my husband uh, you know, wants to just stay, gets so intense, and he's concerned it will be too much of an added expense if we let him move in. Hmm. Are you, do you live near where he lives now? No, they live about uh, 45 minutes away from us. So I guess not too bad. But So I guess he would stay in his same school and commute. He has a car? Uh, no, he would transfer to school here in my town. Uh, mm. He lives in Oahu. It's about 45 minutes from here. And what is the financial condition of your parents? Very poor. Um, they've filed bankruptcy, and uh, they are still, even after the bankruptcy, about 25000 in debt. Mm. What's your household income? Uh, 65000 what costs are associated with bringing him in? Food? Um, food. He would. We would have to help him get a car because he doesn't have one. And uh, with daycare with my son, um, it would conflict with school scheduling. Bus doesn't run in front of your house? What did you say? I'm sorry. Does the bus not run for the school in front of your house? Uh, no, it does not. Uh. But he he could he could walk for a while. Um, it would just be hard in the winter. It'd yeah. be really cold, probably. Yeah. How far away is it? About a mile and a half. Hmm. That's not bad. It's a nice little hike. Yeah. Uh, uphill both ways in the snow, right? Um, <laughs> and he could tell his grandkids about it someday. Uh, it, so- it sounds like things are pretty miserable for him. I want to help him. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Um, so is he miserable enough to, uh, take on some other forms of misery in order to get out of there? Like for instance, when he moves in with you, he starts, he starts a job immediately and, uh, he saves up right quick and, uh, gets him a thousand dollar car and he pays for it. Yeah. He said he would be willing to work. I, I'm just concerned it would affect his grades. I'm concerned that he's living in a cesspool and he needs to get out. I'm not concerned yeah, about his grades. Point. Yes, that's a good point. He needs to work. If I'm your husband and you came to me and said, look, he'll take a job and he'll work this many hours and make this much money. Um, He'll pay us 50 bucks a month for food and he'll save up everything else and be on a budget the way we teach him in order to save up and pay cash for for a little thousand dollar car that we're going to help him get. We could be saving his life. Please, let's do this for my brother. I think that's a reasonable thing. But if your little brother wants to move in there and sit on the couch and eat Doritos all afternoon and suck and play video games and sit on his butt and then gripe because he hadn't got a car that you gave him that he's entitled to because he breathes air, this is a different animal. You following me? Yes. So I'm just, if he is as desperate to get out of that mess as it sounds like he is, then he's desperate enough mm-hmm. to do some crap when he hits the road over at your house and gets get his life straightened out. I'm sorry for him. It's a tough road. He's a tough situation he's in. His parents are both completely unplugged. Um, they yeah. basically emotionally have abandoned him, financially have abandoned him, and he's 16 years old. That's tough. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's heartbreaking. But if I'm your husband, your yeah. husband, he doesn't want to take a project on. He, yeah. He wants to bring in bring in someone that he can be a blessing to. If I'm your husband, yeah. anyway, that's what I would be sitting on. And I, so I think you can lay out some guidelines and, and then talk to your little brother and say, these are our conditions. If you will meet those, you're welcome. And, of course, when you live under okay. my roof, you live by my rules, too. Okay. Which means you're um, not coming um, home drunk at 16 years old. You're not doing dope at 16 years old. You're not doing, you know, da 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 just fill in the blank, right? 
On Sunday, we right. go to church. So this is what we do at our house, okay? If you live in my house, you do what we do at my house. You don't want to live there. It's okay. You don't like that. That's okay. Live somewhere else. But when you're under my roof, this is how it works. Right. That's kind of old school, isn't it? Have open, like, should we just have him a basic savings account for the car? Yeah, just help him. I don't care if he puts it in a fruit jar. I just want him to work, I just want him to work <laughs> like 60 hours a week and go get him $1,000 right quick. Okay, sounds good. Just bust. I mean, I just want him to bust his butt, man. I want it, He's got a lot of emotion. He can burn off a bunch of it working. Yeah, I agree. I think that he's definitely willing to do what it takes. I yeah. think it's more, I just had reservations about forcing him to work so much. No, I don't I don't have any reservations about it at all. It would be the best thing ever happened to him. Okay. He, he won't Thank die from so it. Much. When you're working really, really hard, right before you die, you pass out. So you don't have to worry about work killing you. It won't kill you. So it's okay. You're going to be all right. It's going to be the best thing ever happened to him. You're giving him a safe, emotional environment to live in. Someone that loves him and actually cares about his well-being. You're a good person. You're a good sister. Well done. Now, just put some guidelines on it so your husband feels like he's participating in a process that's helpful and not enabling a bunch of crap.